So Damon is beginning to make hollow gold nanoshells, and to do this he's going to use sodium borohydride to reduce cobalt 2 plus ions to cobalt 0 nanoparticles. Watch as the solution turns dark brown in a few seconds. So while we're waiting for Damon synthesis to finish up, I'm going to show you some examples of the hollow gold nanoshells we've made in this lab. For reference, here are solid gold nanoparticles that have a surface plasmon at around 520 nanometers. When we confine the surface plasmon to the shell and we increase the core diameter and decrease the shell thickness, we redshift the particles. Rebecca is finishing the final stage of the synthesis. This involves adding the cobalt nanoparticles to gold ions. At that point, cobalt becomes a sacrificial template and a redox reaction occurs where the gold ions are reduced onto the surface of cobalt, which is oxidizing, in a 2 to 3 ratio of gold to cobalt. This results in the formation of hollow gold nanospheres. After we synthesize our hollow gold nanoshells, we have to characterize them, and we can characterize them with UV vis, TEM, and also transient absorption. This is our transient absorption setup that uses 800 nanometer light to generate both a tunable pump using optical parametric amplification as well as a white light probe. Because we have femtosecond resolution between our pump and our probe, we can get information about ultra-fast relaxation processes in our hollow gold nanoshells.